It's Friday, and it's been a long week. Uh, March 20th, you guys are definitely missed here. Uh, let's see, happy coronavirus lock-in, world falling apart day. I uh, figure how strange is the world going to become still. Social media, go on there, give us a chance to communicate. Uh, today, just wanted to check in so at least we get to see each other a little bit. It's going to be a really short video because most of what you're doing today is going on Socrative and taking a quiz. Um, so I have to do some kind of learning thing with you. I have now officially updated uh, grades so you can go on to uh, Skyward to see your fourth nine weeks, which is just going to be the, the quiz from Olympians. If you never took the Olympians quiz from before uh, when you were gone last Friday, and so now it's a zero on there because I kept telling you to take it this whole past week, then you can contact me and I'll see what we can do but for now the Olympians quiz is the one that's gonna be open uh, so I'm gonna have you guys go into it all right I'll be honest normally you guys have a much tougher quiz and you'd have the paper version of it and you would have to do a lot more thinking that goes into it but quite honestly as chaotic as everything is right now I gave you a fairly easier version of it to try and help you uh, is it perfectly easy? No, some of you are probably still going to fail it. Some of you guys are not even going to do it. Uh, but I figure for those of you who do choose to do it, with everything that's going on and the chaos, I figure, did you pay attention? Did you watch the videos? Did you laugh at my jokes? Did you enjoy me kidnapping those two children the other day? Um, then you'll be fine. Take the quiz, and that's what I'm aiming for. So I'm not trying to make it the toughest thing ever. In order to take a quiz... Go to Socrative, just as always, room name is going to be Kai Vorb. Uh, log in, last name, first name, and then I'll do the grading and stuff like that. It should tell you your grade at the end. I think that's how I have it set up, unless I messed something up or something along those lines. Um, and then you're good to go. And that's it for today, because I'm not going to make you watch really long video. Um, some of you contacted me about doing the uh, Underworld one, so I'll see what I can do. I'll send out a mind. Uh, or post a thing on website -y thing that you went to to find this, and we'll figure that thing out from there. Next week, we're going to wrap up Greek mythology. I've got a handful of stories for you still that I'd like to do, um, but we'll see how things go. But anyway, that's what I have for you guys as of right now. Take quiz, uh, then you'll be good to go. I'll leave it up through the weekend, and then after that, I'll take it down. And then if you're still wanting to do it or you didn't get a chance to do it, then let me know, and we'll try to help you out. And then, um, also, wearing my Camp Tecumseh shirt, uh, because I figure this is not the time of the year I'd start wearing Camp Tecumseh shirts on Fridays to get you guys ready for Camp Tecumseh, but in case you missed it, we're not going to Camp Tecumseh, so sadness. But I love this shirt because I'm hoping you guys have been checking it out the entire time, being kind of confused, like, what's up with that guy's shirt? This is actually the second video I recorded because I did the other video and I got like a minute into it and I kind of ruined it because I told the kids why the shirt was upside down. I realized it'd be much more fun for me to teach for a while with you guys trying to figure out why my shirt was upside down and like maybe trying to turn the iPad the other way and getting confused. It was a misprint and they were going to throw this shirt away because they're like, uh oh, some one of the printed it was upside down. I'm like, no, that shirt's awesome. So then I wear it to school because dad jokes. So when I wear it to school, everyone goes, you're your shirt's upside down. So me, being witty, I go, no, I can read it, it looks fine. Hilarious, right? And I giggle and the kids are like, whoa, they look all confused and other kids are like, oh, that kid's a dum-dum. And we get a chance to bond. So this time I figured the closest we could do is I was just trying to stand like really close to the camera so you could see the shirt and then just be confused. Some of you have not figured at all and you're just like, what? I thought it was La Kum Wahia Sehi. And you're like, I thought it was a different camp. And then you realize, oh, it's upside down. And if I could like do a cartwheel, like watch this. Uh, 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 uh. Did, did you see it? it, it normal. Uh, it really feels like I nailed it. Okay. Now I'm just babbling because I miss you guys and I don't want to get off the screen. Um, but till next week, I guess enjoy your time away. Um, we have the final test coming up next week. I'm still trying to figure out how exactly I'm going to go about doing that one. Uh, there is a homework. Oh, I guess I should give you. There is a homework assignment that goes with the quiz, which I totally forgot to assign to you yesterday. Oh, well. Um, it's, it'll go in your notebook. If you're wanting to do it, you can take a look at it, I guess, now. If you want to pause or stop or whatever and go back and look at it, it's on the website. Um, it's right there where it says the, the homework number two. That's up to you. If you don't want to do the homework right now, I don't know when I get a chance to check it. Uh, it'll be due, you know, 
April, whenever we go in there, but for the most part, it's going to help you with the quiz, but that's up to you. It's chaos right now. Anyway, miss you guys. Hope things are going well. I'm going stir crazy. You're going stir crazy. And then we're not even to like the actual, like getting close to spring break time. So this is going to be a long couple weeks. Stay in contact. Check ya. Blah, 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 blah.